So when it comes to Fairy Tale Chapter 502, I gotta say, man, that the ending is what really made the chapter. And I'm gonna be honest, there's a lot of spooky things going down at the end, but I'm gonna get into that later on in the video. Now, for starters, I'm actually happy the way how the whole Mavis, Zareph, and Irene situation went down because look at it. <clears throat> in the spoilers, it only showed like Zareph, like him being duplicated. And I thought that Zareph, he actually did say, let me have three minutes to talk with Mavis. Like if that was the real Zareph saying that, oh my, oh, I would have been so so mad like i would have wanted to kill zara because he would have just completely shared on everything that the spring of 12 worked for fairy heart so i'm actually happy that it was a clone that mavis and I, oh my god i love the fact that it had to do with invel being incapacitated because yo that's perfect and nobody on their end like nobody from Zareph or irene's part slipped up it was just straight up great b listen gray li he's the real mvp because he's the one that causes to go down so basically now that we know they didn't necessarily get very hard although i think it's going to be hype seeing irene actually track her down and actually going to try to fight her i think it's going to be dope now the next part majority of the chapter is basically it's i guess you say it's in canon filler i mean it's basically the reunion between gaji or levy i enjoyed it a lot but the whole thing with joy and jet i'm gonna be honest i didn't really care for them because listen they're not really important characters but i did like seeing the reunion between gaji and levy so that was good but then the end of the chapter man yo first off demaria she is a straight up savage we see that she's straight up torturing lucy and natu and it looks like that she was actually about to cut off natu's head like look at the end of the chapter like obviously natu isn't going to die Die, but we actually do see that she has the blade like pointed towards Natsu's head and that's just crazy because Demaria is actually living up to the hype but then we find the revelation no it wasn't a tumor it was something far worse and this got me thinking does Natsu have to die in order for EAD to be activated because we know that it started really like getting like the quote unquote tumor or basically the EAD transformation started activated once Natsu was near death so that was crazy seeing how it's actually about the it was basically the thing that was causing Natsu to get passed out was the EAD transformation and it looks like that is going to be activated next chapter so I cannot wait oh my god this is going to be amazing comment what you guys see down below subscribe if you haven't peace out